It's November 29, 2020, and this is the latest from Ball Facts News. The Pelicans have released their preseason schedule. There's two games, and now this is where the rubber meets the road. On December 14th, they'll play the Miami Heat, and on December 18th, they will play the Milwaukee Bucks. This once highly praised point guard finds himself on the outside looking in of the hype train. When he came in, there was so much hype around Lonzo Ball in the NBA, but as of late, there's been a lot of doubt, which is kind of crazy because he's reversed roles with his younger brother, LaMelo. Back when Lonzo was first getting in the NBA, LaMelo was doubted because they said, oh, he's just a scrawny kid with bad shooting form and shooting selection. And now look at the role reversal. But let's get down to these games that are coming up and all that it means. Lonzo's fourth year in the league. Now, so many people have said this is the year that he has to dominate or they're going to give up on him. Fans are fed up with him. They said it's about time to meet expectations. You're drafted number two and there's no more excuses. This is the year you got to do it. Now, his first two years, he had injuries. People are tired of that excuse, even though it's valid. They're tired of it. And then the third year, he made vast improvements. You know, he took his three point percentage from 30 to 37. Of course, his free throw percentage, it, you know, it improved a little bit from his first year to the next year. But it's still very bad from 36 percent to 40 percent with the Pelicans. But people are just saying enough with the excuses now the there is another valid excuse that the injuries didn't give him an off season to practice and now he's had a lot of time to practice they got bounced out of the bubble early and he's been working on his game with no injuries so even his fans are saying you know that's actually something we can't rebuttal this is the year he has to produce I made a video talking about LaMelo being added motivation coming to the league because they have a, a brotherly competition, healthy competition. Some people didn't like that, but facts are facts. You got to get over it. Now, also, he changed his shot last year. That was the first year he used a new shot. He trained in the offseason and then he unveiled it and it got better, which a lot of people said, see, LaVar, you should have had his shot changed the entire time. But many people say it was about his confidence, not necessarily his mechanics. Nevertheless, people want to see him produce regardless of anything this year. They just feel like his fans, including me, bring up too many excuses. And you know me, I believe they're valid. Now, I'm going to get honest on this one and say I do believe that he should produce this year. I believe there are no excuses and I believe he'll do it. Now, that doesn't change my mindset of being a specialty player, needing certain things, regardless of what he gets, I think he'll do solid this year. I do think he'll excel if he gets certain things that he needs as far as a coach that lets him run free, many minutes, fast pace up and down the court, which is something that's left to still be talking about. I'm going to drop a specific video on, on Lonzo and his new coach and all those things. But we're talking about the preseason, the start of his new revitalization this season starting December 14th and I do not think that these coaches on the Miami Heat or the Pelicans are going to say well it's a preseason game no you only have a few of them and you go right into the season so you might as well use your real lineups let them build chemistry let them get going and, and so that you just have a head start and you don't come out slow when the games actually count now, in a previous vi video, I brought up that Lonzo had played less games in his first three years in the NBA than Giannis did in his first two years. And then when you compared their games versus each other, that Lonzo was doing better than Giannis when he first started. And that was pretty crazy. So go check that out. A lot of people got mad about me comparing Lonzo to Giannis. But what I was showing them was that there's a player that can start out cold for whatever reason, and he has time to grow. He can still do better. So um, that's the thumbnail. Click that okay now we also want to talk about drew holiday is no longer with the pelicans and for a long time people said lonzo needs drew holiday out the way and i was agreeing with that 80 percent of the time because the other percent uh drew holiday would just have great games but he was getting in the way of the way lonzo played now the interesting thing is he going he went to the bucks 
and they're going to play the Bucks. So it'll be a good matchup because Lonzo has great defense. Drew Holiday has great defense and they've been playing together for so long, not for so long, for a year. But now they will get to play against each other. So look out for that matchup. It should be exciting. And I'm going to be just anticipation whenever I see them on ball defending each other. Now, we have Bledsoe on the Pelicans now, Steven Adams on the Pelicans, George Hill on the Pelicans. People want to know, is Lonzo Ball going to be starting over Bledsoe and George Hill? Because they both can do the point guard position. Even though George Hill is like 34 years old, he's getting a little older. Lonzo, his, I believe that his spot right now is solidified. He will be starting. So just watch out for that and look at how they do these rotations. Bledsoe, George Hill, completely different players than Lonzo Ball. They just play different. But is Steven Adams good to go as far as running the court? He's a great center. But, you know, Lonzo and Zion like to run. So is Steven Adams a good addition to their team? He can rebound, but can he knock down the three? No, unless he's doing something that we don't know about in the offseason. Now, Giannis, of course, in that game is going to be Giannis. He's looking to redeem himself, and he's always done good against the Pelicans. So it should be real interesting to see. Also, Zion, is he going to come back healthy? Because if he comes back healthy, Lonzo will have a way better season just because the, the chemistry with Zion, the lobs, the fast break. So these are things that we have to watch out for. And the first game that they play against the Heat, you know, the Heat, they have solidified their place in the NBA. They went to the finals last year. They shocked everybody. They have great chemistry. Is Jimmy Butler going to come back and be the star player that we know he has the ability to be? Is he going to have consistency? Is he going to average more than 20 points per game this year? Does he need to? That's the question. So the Heat first game, that's going to be dope. Lonzo should come out blazing, doing his thing. Zion versus Bam at a bio should be an interesting matchup down low. But really what we're looking for this season in the first start of the game is that Lonzo is aggressive. We want to see him not afraid to take layups, not afraid of contact. He's been working on that. We want to see him make his free throws when he goes to the line. And we want to see his confidence and his three point shooting just to keep on shooting. And we want to see some consistency this season. And these first two games are going to be ones to watch just to see Lonzo's demeanor, his body language. We're going to be watching. I think that he really is going to turn the corner this year. And people are going to say, you always say that this year is different. The circumstances are different. The body injuries are non-present. So realistically, what I believe his stats will be this year, 15, 8 and 8. And I believe he'll shoot 38 percent from three point range. I believe he should increase his, his free throw shooting by at least 15%. Those are what I, I really believe he'll do. Now, what I hope he would do is to get 19, 9, and 9. That would be best case scenario this year. And I think they could win a lot of games with Lonzo producing that much. Let's see how many minutes he gets. This is Lonzo Ball's year of redemption. Worst case scenario, he does bad this year and gets traded to the Hornets because LaMelo's doing good and says, I want him. No, I do not believe that is going to happen, but that would be the only thing that salvages my attitude this season if Lonzo doesn't produce. But like I said, I believe Lonzo will produce. Now, I told you the things that I'll be looking out for in these first two preseason games. Let me know in the comment section what you'll be looking for and uh, make sure you set your calendar December 14th and December 18th. LaMelo starts on December 12th. We got a lot of basketball to watch, talk about, enjoy, and just be entertained here on Ball Facts. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Go to shopballfacts.com to get your hoodies and your hats. Hit that notification bell so you can keep on getting these video updates. Ball Facts again. Peace.